This video is sponsored by RapidX Gaming Chairs. We're doing a giveaway with them where we'll be giving away a free chair and a ton of other stuff as well, and it's super easy to enter. All you have to do is just check the Gleam link in the description below, and the winners are going to be announced later on Twitter. Now they're going to try and push back around the side, but there's Meng Mao, pops out. Thank you very much. Death Blossom, Sound Barrier, also going to keep China alive. Now, Crew and Kitty have picked themselves up two kill. That's the damage dealers of China. China are falling here somewhat unexpectedly. Crew is just keeping the burst going, but YJP is yet to be dealt with. We know he's one of the big damage dealers. He gets Nano boosted up, starts to burn Crew down. He's got his Graviton Surge if he needs it. There's the uh, Pango going off wild with the hammer as well. So they've still not cleared out the point. The Graviton Surge used in a 3v3 situation. It's very very aggressive, but there was no follow-up. Mikhail manages to get himself the fire strike, takes down Pangu, and now it's back and forth as China respond on the respawn. China managing to stall this fight out. It's very good for them. We're already in overtime. France went able to flip the point back, and now D-Gun's got a lot on his shoulders. He needs to stamp his authority on this point as China keeps pouring in. They keep this game in stasis. France aren't, France aren't able to take the point back under their control. It's a flash for Jam Lee, but he can't complete the kill. There it is. Kitty falls. That's a big support down for France. The Earth Shatter comes down. That catches all of France on the stairwell. That is not good. They're forced away from the point the overtime is ticking they have to try and get back on there jam lee backs away but he gets dropped down by crew Deegan manages Don't to swipe no bar goes down Nox gets in are they going to get the flip around the graviton surge comes in and china will lose out the point france managed to cap it out in an elongated fight Megmat holds the key to their victory holding on to that graviton surge there's no support all to stop him if he gets in three or four people that could be it the graviton is in and he reels in everyone here comes china for the ball group Dead Eye's not going to be enough. Crew gets just the one down. It's Meng Mao, but is it going to be enough? It's a one for one trade. YJP comes in, gets Deegan down, but look at the health bars of France. They're dropping as a China. Jam Lee comes around the side. YJP picks up another. The Earth Shatter connects on no one, but it's China that will rope, and they will be going to BlizzCon. China come out on top with a successful win over Thailand and France. But look at this lead. They're going to be almost into overtime by the time they get to here. This could be quite nasty. No, Pedro hasn't quite reached the end yet. No, it hasn't. This could be nasty here. Russia could win this fight and end it here. The blizzard gets thrown out. It's enough to slow things down. The Graviton Surge thrown back and forward. Both of them go down. Godspeed manages to pick himself up one as well as unfixed. It's Russia that are getting the kills, but time is yet to be dealt with. He gets himself around the side, but he's going to get frozen in time as he still continues to hop, skip, and jump. Unfixed trying to focus. Has to get himself in the ice block, but it's Godspeed that picks up the kill. Suddenly it's just Saini. Have to left the loop around. Can he get hold on long enough? They will not get there. And Finn are held by Russia. The Graviton Surge is not great. He manages to get out with the Wraith form, gets himself a quick death blossom off, gets a double kill. Shadowburn and Godspeed more importantly. Unfix throws out the blizzard, catch yourself a double as well. And suddenly it's uh, terrific. And Fate Russia gonna push on through. Unfix catches another. Oh, Anna gets a second kill around the side there. The nano grenade goes down, and that is surely all over. Finland are wiped out. They have one man to run in. It is gonna be Saini to try and hold them at bay as they push on through for the final point. One more fight now. Rubicon gets a little bit of damage off the starboard, but Saini's gonna fall down. Where are the rest of the reinforcements? Links on the tracer, trying to get over towards his payload and actually stem the flow, but it may not be enough. Rubicon is connecting on these darts. He's got himself a sound barrier. Links falls. Now it's gonna be the Nanaboos coming in, and it's unfixed of all people to better from it here. Mapu, nothing he can do. He's gonna be frozen solid now. Dragon Boy gonna come over the top, and now we're into overtime. Blizzard comes down yet again. There's nothing that can be done here. Surely, Finland are gonna fall apart. Russia, get over the line. It's two to one, and Russia will be going to the final. He's gonna fall and return. Resurrection's up. Full strength now for FaZe. Everything on the table. They must win this fight. Barrage over the top. Down goes Chance. Everyone looking for more, doesn't get it. Fighting Grim Reality, Grim Reality shoots him out of the sky. Reaper on anti-air duty all day today. It's working out. This is so the Defense crappy. powered by agilities and Grim Reality. Moving in once more, they're pushing out phase, and we might just have that full hold here on Dorado. Well, agilities and Grim Reality got the up but right there. There was a beautiful blizzard in the back line that forced Zarya to use the Graviton in a really terrible position. They got nothing out of it. Forsaken then got cleaned up. Now it's desperation time as Shadowburn switches to the Genji now. Uh, too easy is on the Tracer just trying to get some bodies on the card. They're going to need heroics. If Shadowburn somehow pulls us back as Genji, I'm just, oh my goodness, the Factor Fiction Earth Shadow sets up two quick kills. FaZe is coming back. What is going on right now? Immortals just about had this wrapped up. Python going down, Shadowburn, the beast being unleashed in the back once more. Just too easy, takes out Grim Reality. 
What in the world is happening in this game? Phase, they stay alive! In the supports, but he was waiting for the moment that that boost came in, so Reinhardt would push them forward. As they tried to retreat, they fell into Snow's pulse rifle. Chronic moving in, two kill, er, in Shadowburn into the back line, takes down Dogman, it's three kills here from FaZe, they only have to push a little bit further here, Hex, and if they do, they will be your victors, they are close to victory, they have the number advantage, Shadowburn just looking for the final few, the finishing Graviton coming in, and FaZe, after a long hard slog, will be taking Route 66, and thus be taking the series. A Potu, it's a bit of a troll for one trade so far. Many feel very low. Jamni gets in there. That's There's massive. a blizzard. Is it going to be enough? A Potu gets himself a double NC and now gets himself the shot in the back and they should be able to cap out the point to get themselves one. Lincoln's still in there along with Nai. Nai by Imagine trying to keep them away, but he's been pushed off the point. They get themselves the first marker. Can they get more? Well, we'll have to see. Opa 2 up towards the side. He doesn't have the Dragon Blade. It was already used, but Tyler had managed to make so much progress on this point now. Three players that are trying to are forced to bleed in and go one for one. Opa 2 in a great position to backstab have damage, but the rest of his team seems to be absent. Now he jumps through, dashes through, no reset, but there's Mickey and Zalfix now. It's going to be the Lucio and Zaya getting kills, and this might be ugly for China. Graviton comes out here. China are going to be stuck together. Another sound barrier for Zalfix. Second time in this fight he's had that one available. China can't even get to the point, and there's another Blizzard for NZNR. And it looks like they're going to get it. There's just one little bit left. They just need to clear them off. It's going to be Minmaro that gets in there. Jamni comes out. There's a counter Blizzard from China. Is that going to be enough? The spawns come out. They force them off the point. And just with a fraction to go, it looks like Thailand might well have just been cleared off the point. Jamni in there. But Opotu comes around. He gets himself a Dragon Blade. Gets himself the second. Can he clear the whole team off? China are in trouble. They have to get somebody on the point right now. You've got the one in the corner frozen up. The second he clears off. Is he going to be taken down? Yes. Just eventually. about. Well, he's going to have to back away, but that's the problem now. Thailand need to be careful because China have actually had a lot of time. They've got a lot of time bought for the right in that fight. Graviton Surge comes out into the back though and ends it in Arlo doing work. Gets himself two kills. Guess what? His next Blizzard might not be that far away if he keeps hitting so hard. Opito, this whole fight hasn't been touched. He's been alive as soon as oh, Thailand started. That's going to be it though. Thailand finally take it away. They give us a very exciting conclusion to that game. And they're going to push on through. Grab it and search, use down. That's, that's okay. Uh, I'll tell you why no. in a second here as well. As Thailand can sort of work around the side okay. of this one. Essentially, yeah, 40% already. And then Mickey comes back in. So not only does it buy time on the point, but it buys time for reinforcements. China can flip it back, but now Thailand actually have a strong position where China have to filter through across the bridge. And it's scary. Oh, yes. It's dangerous when the hook's coming in. Jam Lee going to get pulled up for dinner. And it's as easy as that. Apoto has really impressed me in this game so far. He's going to get himself another there. That shield is not going to handle the strength of the whole hog. And it is going to be Thailand that will flip it back. There's respect in there, Spear. You needed to kill Shorefor there. Spear tried to go in and he did not get it done. They killed x Retsy, then Shorefor single-handedly bringing that back with the help of his support, Ana. But you cannot let him live when you have those kind of numbers of damage. Absolutely not. And look at Kai Kai right now. No one caring about him, just melting people down with no care in the world. Dragonblade comes out late from Spear, and I don't know if this is going to be quite as effective, though. He's dashing around, not able to get him what he wants. It's X-Red to the back with the Death Blossom. Takes down two. Both supports are dead. Both Zen and Ana unable to get away from that, and this might be going Ryze's way yet. Rib trying to turn it back around, but it's going to be close in either case, as sure for suddenly, off of Rib's opening, gets two and is uncontested as he looks for more. It's been Richard, largely though. a tank duel here as all the tanks remain alive. Mendo is on the Winston, trying to stall it out at the very least. He's going to do just that. Is his team going to be able to get in your time? Yes, there will be at least one more fight for this point. Grab comes in, though, and a really nice fire grenade, making sure everyone is not getting healed through there. This is incredibly close, much closer than Jimmy. Sure for is back in the fight. Deadeye coming up. Does not care too much about Sound Bear's spirit with the deflect sake. Please shoot me. Sure for the patience needed not to die in that situation. Looking for X Rutsy picks it off. And Sure for the man who just will not go down up until the point where he goes down. Zarya getting the final blow, but Rim still up and wide. If you're on the point, clearing out space, smacks Lucio in the head. And what a gutsy defense from C9 here. They only need to win one more major team fight here, Hex. This is a perfect cleanup opportunity here for Genji and Spirit. Really having a lot of patience here in Azaldi. He wants to save it 
for the last push, and you know he might be able to do that as Red Sea takes down Kai Kai. Share four, finding himself without a whole lot of friends here on top. Still has to be careful moving on this is Spirit. This is the case where Share four still deadly. Look at all the space he's being given as Rise more focused on the payload. But finally, Dragon Blade comes out looking for it. Groudon comes out from Kai Kai C9. They collapse from all angles, and that might have been a bit of a misplay from Rise to not deal with the threat of Share four over the top.